So now let's see how we can work around with channel blur and channel mixer inside of HitFilm. So to apply channel blur uh, and channel mixer, I'm going to go around over here on this particular video clip right here and then go under effects right here. Then I'm going to go around and expand the channel folder. And over here, you can see that channel blur is an option. So if I were to go around and click and drag up the channel blur over here, then what happens is that I can go around and choose only blue right here and the blue channel is blurred out. Only green is here, only red is here as well. So subtle is uh, aber um, aberration is here and moderate aberration is here as well. So let me just go around and utilize the radius right here. So you can go around and change around the radius for different channels. So let's say, for example, you can blur out the red channel, as you can see, or the green channel right here, or the blue channel, as you can see. You can blur out the alpha as well. So um, in my case, uh, there's no um, transparent area, so you don't really see the alpha effect. So if I were to go around over here, this is what you see, and then this is what you have. So you can see that this is the blue right here. So if I were to go around and then click and drag out, you can see that I can go around and choose out the channels right here. So if I were to go around, change around the green right here, change around the red, this is what you have, as you can see. So if I were to go around under dimension, then you can see that you can go around and choose dimension. Like for red, it can be horizontal and vertical or just vertical right here. For green, it can be horizontal or horizontal and vertical right here, just like this as well. So you can go around and choose uh, different dimensions for different channel blurs as well. So that is what you have. So now apart from channel blur, you also have channel mixer right here. So if I were to go around and click and drag around the channel mixer over here, you can go around and choose, let's say for example, black and white right here, just like this, or black and uh, black and white right here green channel and so forth so let me just go around and say all zeros or utilize this so over here you can go around and change around the red right here so there's red there's blue and green right here as you can see right here just like this so you can go around and then uh, utilize red green and blue right here and change around the contrast so you can add in blue channel to the red as well so you can go around and add these in right here as you can see can go around and change around the blue channels as well then this is what you have you can go around add in red channels add in green for red areas and so forth as you can see right here and then work around with the contrast and everything to get the look you want so you can go around over here so let's say for example i'm going to increase out the blue and then i'm going to go around and increase out the green right here just like this and decrease everything out and then I'm going to go around and increase out the red right here. So you can see that that is what you have right here. So you get the contrast and everything right here. And you can go around and work around with this. So I'm just going to work around with contrast and so forth. And this is the effect that you get right here. So red, green and blue channels. You can work around with each one of them and work around with them. So that is how you can work around with channel blur and channel mixer effect inside of HitFilm. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.